Hello and welcome back. I'm Seth and now that you have had a, a brief overview of the interface and all the buttons here there's just a few other little things that, that I'd like to uh, touch on and talk about for, for a moment before we move on into views. So in the, in the next uh, couple tutorials I'm going to be explaining your different views which is these three these three buttons right here you have a world view, coordinate view, and I'm going to explain the difference between those and how to set those. But before we get to that point, there's a few other little things um, that I that I think are important that I think you need to know. Okay, now looking at your screen here, this blue area obviously is your your display. That's where all the graphics on the screen are going to be. If you have a model of your part, this is where it's going to be. Alright, these are the two main toolbars. Um, this right here is your axis indicator. This tells you which way is Y, which way is X, and which way is Z. And this one is for world, the world coordinate system. Okay, this is your another axis indicator, and this is for your uh, construction view coordinates. So those two are important. Down here is your coordinate readout this tells you where your mouse pointer is on your screen in relation to your zero 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 right here now there's a few other little things um, that, that I think we should start with if you go up here to tools you see units you want to check that before you start and make sure that it's in inches um, a little bit later on I'll, I'll show you how we can if you have a print uh, that's in millimeters you can set it to millimeter and then I'll show you how to scale it back to inches uh, when you get ready to program it so if you have you no know, it just depends on your personal preference if you have a print that's in millimeters you can either draw it in millimeters by selecting this or you can just convert all the dimensions to inches and draw it in inches so that's that's pretty important okay uh, axis depending on what type of work you're doing um, we're gonna start with drawing geometry for millwork so this was already selected and and I'll also show you how to go back in and change these uh, defaults to you can make it start up and and whatever you know you can set it to start on whichever one you want when you first open it uh, but the default is going to be mill axis and that's what we need if you're doing lathe work and you want to set it to either lathe radius or lathe diameter now the customize has a deal with uh, customizing hotkeys for your keyboard and also your NC menus and we'll I'll cover that later on that's that's a little bit more advanced for this point um, there is one one other thing, uh, the options menu here. These are just some basic options. Uh, you know, you can kind of look over them. I'll, I'll go into detail later on about what all you can change with this. Um, there's a, there's a lot of different options here. I'm not gonna really get into to these right now, but for this point. Um, those are a few a few little things that, that I think are important that you would need to know and also your command prompt is going to be right down here in the lower left hand corner of the screen this is where SurfCam is going to ask you the information that it needs to do whatever you're trying to do um, so let me give you an example here if I draw a line on my screen zero 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 okay and then I tell it I want to create a line from endpoint to endpoint. I'm using hotkeys, which which I'll also will cover. Uh, but if you were doing it with the mouse, go to create line, click on endpoints, and then here are your different options. I want to go from the endpoint to an endpoint. So if you look down here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, SurfCam is asking you what the information it needs is telling you what to do for creating a line select the starting point okay if I wanted to draw a line from here to here I would select that as my starting point then you can look down here and it says select the ending point 
okay so I do that and there's my line so if you ever get to a point where maybe you're confused or you don't exactly know what to do next or what it's asking for um, you can always look down here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and it will tell you now the only other thing that I would like to cover before I uh, get into views is the right mouse button all these buttons up here these icons fit rotate zoom pan um, all of it if you right click on your screen it brings up your it's called the RMB menu it stands for right mouse button menu all of these options every single one of them that's up here is also right here if you just right click you can switch back and forth from different views you can use your masking here um, you can change your construction view plane the color translucency you can delete geometry transform it even your NC um, operations are are here also and there's your operations manager now I know a lot of this you probably don't recognize yet but we're we're about to get in to uh, we're about to start covering some of this stuff so you definitely will see it again um, and once you get kind of familiar with the interface and how to navigate around it a lot of times it's faster just to right click on your screen and go to what you want than looking up here and trying to find the appropriate icon Okay, so that's just a little, a few uh, tidbits of useful information that I wanted to share with you. So, if you want to continue on to the uh, next tutorial, I will be explaining the difference between world view and coordinate view, and I'll be going over how to uh, how to set views and what view is what, and I'll also be explaining the uh, parent-child view. Or, or what that relationship is. Okay? Thanks for listening. I will talk to you soon.